What's up guys and welcome to another episode of Trail Hunter. This is my first vlog with the new camera. I hope you like it. I got the GoPro Hero 9 with the media mod so the mic is a whole lot better. Got a rear bumper coming for this thing from True North Fabrications. What's up, Connor? I emailed a few companies about a rear bumper, just asking specs, things like that, and, and nobody answered me back. So I posted on Instagram and said, hey, who knows of a bumper company that will answer messages? And Connor reached out to me. He said, hey, I work for True North. What are you looking for? I gave him the specs and uh, he sent it out. So, um, I took the old bumper off. We've been running this guy for the last 20 years or so. Oh, how much? That's some wicked good timing, huh? The bumper just showed up. Um, so in the meantime, I took the old bumper off. I did a little bit of rust mitigation. I'm going to spray this flat black along with these side pieces. But uh, let's go get this thing off the trailer, huh? So crazy that it showed up right as I was filming that. Uh, all right, let's get this thing uh, torn open and uh, we'll take a look at it and then we're gonna spray it. I got some paint and things from Home Depot and uh, then we'll put it on the friggin' truck. Let's go! All right, let's cut this thing open. I've been wanting to do a rear bumper on this truck for a long time, probably 10, 15 years since I got it. And uh, always had trouble picking one. I could never find one that had like just about everything that I wanted in a bumper. But this one definitely, uh, definitely fit all the requirements, ticked all the boxes. So I can't wait to put this on the truck. That's the tire carrier. I like this little uh, mountain gusset thing they put in here. The molly panel is cool. Really beautiful welds. And this is the bumper. It's got a, quite a few attachment points. I like the, uh, the extra truss here. Just every weld on this thing is just beautiful. Little extra tubing there for the two inch receiver. Hook slots built into the bumper. You can see the tow hooks come through the bumpers so they don't actually weld to here they weld to the bumper brackets which is really really cool uh, so yeah this is a beautiful beautiful piece can't wait to put it on the truck so the whole face of the bumper the outside face of the bumper is going to be flat black i got a bunch of uh red primer and black paint but being that i'm in the northeast the back of the bumper the underside is going to get undercoating so that's what we're doing i'm going to do this first and then we'll do the face of it and then hopefully it's all dry by the time Matt gets here. I could always spray a little touch up if we fingerprint the fresh paint. But uh, I'm gonna get started right away so that, uh, so when Matt gets here, we can throw this thing right on. do a couple of more coats of that and then we'll do a couple of coats of the red primer and then some flat black hi again it's considerably darker since we last spoke and that's because Matt brought over a Volkswagen but it's fixed now so we're gonna resume this disaster I stacked the quick jacks on top of each other and zip tied them together what could go wrong no, we're just gonna get it on the first try. I am a genius! Okay, good morning again. It is now daytime and the bumper is on the truck. Um, yesterday, Matt came over with a broken Volkswagen, like usual, and we ended up spending the entire day working on that thing. And then by the time we got to my truck, it was kind of dark so we were able to get the bumper up and get the hardware in at least i'm just doing final touches i put the latch and um, i'm getting ready to take the tire off the roof and put it on the back now my trick here if you look at the tire 
and you look at my railing, they're about the same height. So I'm going to back the truck up to about here, roll it off onto the railing, and then down the stairs, and then I'm going to attempt to lift it five feet in the air to get it onto that rack. So, uh, here goes nothing, I guess. See what I'm getting at? As you can tell, it's not the first time I've done this. Let's put it on the truck. Welcome to Trail Hunter, where an old guy is constantly throwing his back out lifting 35 inch 10 ply tires. It's gonna hurt. Okay, that wasn't so bad. Where's my nuts? So it's done. Uh, so let's take you for a little tour. Yes, I changed. I'm sweating like an Instagram racer at a track day. Woohoo! So here's the bumper. We'll take you for a little tour real quick. Really nice finish. You know, all of the cuts, I kind of bumped it a little bit, but all of the cuts are like perfect. Even this little notch here is really nice. It wraps all the way around and goes to the frame. The swing out is really nice. I like this molly panel. I didn't realize that was there, but I'm really happy that it comes with something like that because that's really cool. Uh, moving along, we got Two shackle hangers, which are nice. You can see the box in for the tow hitch. Two inch receiver, holes behind. A two inch receiver, and it's all boxed in. You can see it's got some support struts there. Another shackle hanger. And we come around here. And it's just overall really nicely done. Very close fitment to everything. Uh, even though these things flex and, and shit like that, you know, they still manage to get it really close. So now the swing out is cool. It locks open and it locks closed, which is really cool. The bushing is maintenance free. It's not a bearing or anything like that. It's just a, a, a looks like a copper bushing. So that should be really easy to maintain. Heavy duty truss here. I like the addition of the mountains. As you can tell, basic white bro loves his mountains. So that's a really cool touch. Finally got the Conning counter steer mounted to the back. Let's open this thing up. So first you release that latch, then you gotta pull up on here and the tire swings. It swings really smooth. It doesn't have any binding or anything like that. And it locks open. That pin locks open, so it's really nice. You now the Molly panel is fully accessible from the back so I can hang all kinds of stuff like uh, like the, the Instagram off-roaders like to do. And then it allows access to the back. I put the mall crawler plate back on since it's gonna be blocked anyway. Um, but you can see like all of the, the welds are really nicely done. Everything just seems really well put together. Uh, so I'm really, really happy with this. Um, like I said, this came from True North Fabrications. I'll put all the link and the description um, and their Instagram and all that. So let's also look at the stance. Now we did squat a little bit in the back, but not as much as I was expecting it to. It came down a little bit, but the truck is still level, which is nice. I was kind of worried about the sag. I was hoping that it didn't sag too much, but uh, it looks good. So these are the Old Man Emu 851 springs, which are the front springs for an 80 series Land Cruiser. A lot of the Forerunner guys put them in the back of these for a lift. 
Uh, so they're good for about five or six inches. They match the front solid axle swap perfectly. So I'm um, really uh, just overall happy. Next step is the roof rack. Weston Miller, I'm coming for you. I want one of them gobies. Let's do it. Hit me up. As expected, rear visibility is somewhat hindered. <laughs> I don't really look back there anyway. Side mirrors are where it's at. Side mirror gang, what's up? Which mirrors do you use? Tell me in the comments. So, uh, yeah, really happy with the way this came out and uh, can't wait to go wheeling. We're going, uh, we're going to Roush Creek this weekend, so should be a good time. I'll see you guys next time.